Okay, well, slight change of plans. My wife wants to go and get ice cream. She's got a coupon. So we made a deal. I'm gonna go get ice cream if I can go to PetSmart. Cause Sheila and Duke need crickets and the axolotls need a fresh thing of night crawlers. So, ice cream and worms and crickets. All right. So the plan was tonight grill. It's actually not so bad outside right now. We've been hitting triple digits for two weeks now, which is crazy. Um, but I had some chicken and I wanted to grill it out because I have this uh, spice blend, a recipe for a spice blend from Primal Gourmet. And follow him on all the social medias. He's got a book out, which is mostly paleo and Whole30 oriented. Um, and it's delicious, y'all. Um, if you've seen my video where I make Alabama white sauce, that's the that's from his recipes. Now, he cooks on a Traeger. I don't have a Traeger, <laughs> but I do have a Weber. So um, we're going to see if we can cook out the chicken on the Weber grill, but I've got to put the spice blend on. It's been marinating in Frank's Red Hot, and we're gonna pull the grill out a little bit later. It's actually not blistering hot outside. But first, like I said earlier, ice cream. So I gotta get the car ready, because we're taking the kiddo. There we go. <laughs> 93 degrees and it's let's see. Oh, 8 12. So I got the air conditioning going. It's low, low as I can go, bro. So we're about to put the baby in here. Can't be too hot. Not gonna lie, trying to go and do things during the day, especially with a newborn and this heat is a struggle because it's just been way too hot and uh yeah and we can't do anything with any of our animals either we can't you know take the dogs out for a walk or anything like that it's you know almost 8 30 at night and it's still in the 90s you know the pavement's still beating back heat up so there's no way we can take the dogs for a walk or anything like that. It's still way too hot for that. It's actually feeling not bad tonight. So we're gonna pull that grill out, like I said, and uh, I'll show you a little bit about this spice rub. It's like a kind of an everything grill spice rub. You can put it on pork or chicken or beef. It's really, really good, y'all. Really, really good. It's made with, well, the spice rub's made with coconut sugar, which isn't a Whole30 compliant ingredient, but it is paleo compliant. Now, Whole30 and paleo are so, so similar. Super, super similar. These are lifestyle changes that you can make and that we've slowly implemented in our lives that really help you kick things like sugar and mass amounts of grains and legumes and things like that. Um, when my mom comes, and she, and she stays the night sometimes and uh, at our house and we make coffee in the morning, she's always looking for the sugar. We haven't kept granulated sugar in our house in years. The closest thing that we have in our house is brown sugar. Um, and I typically only put that in like marinades or sometimes salad dressings. And uh, those aren't, it's not Whole30 compliant or paleo compliant, but that's the closest thing we have or coconut sugar. So she's always like, where's your sugar? And like, we don't have regular sugar. Because these are small changes that we've implemented over time. And I can't speak 
enough about when you're doing lifestyle changes to not just try to go all in all at once because you will fail. It takes time and consistency over time in order to achieve these types of goals. When my wife and I first got like to dating, we were first dating, um, she would drink nothing but Dr. Pepper or Sprite or sweet tea all day, every day. And I was currently going through a whole 30 with my mom. We were doing the whole 30 regiment, which is 30 days, keeping consistent with all of the whole 30 compliant um, ingredients and meals and stuff like that. And I went to go visit her. We were doing a long distance relationship and I would take with me like 12 packs of LaCroix waters or sparkling waters that have flavoring in them. And I left some in the refrigerator when I came back home after a visit and she and I were FaceTiming and she said, you know, I grabbed one of those waters that you like so much out of the refrigerator and I went to go try it. I believe it was like a tangerine or maybe like a raspberry flavor. And she was like, that was so disgusting. I could not, I could not drink it. Now my wife drinks almost exclusively coffee in the morning and then sparkling water. Sometimes she will have sparkling water with a little fruit juice, like the Spindrift waters have a little bit of fruit juice in them. Um, and that's pretty much it. She'll drink big things of Evian water without sparkling water, especially during her pregnancy. She was super, super thirsty. Uh, but the sparkling water took a while for her to transition over to instead of drinking soda pop all day every day i had to start slowly transitioning her over to sparkling water because it's what i like to drink especially the lime flavor i love a good lime sparkling water i got into sparkling water a long time ago big up to my fairy godmother she always had perrier in her house and I just thought it was the coolest thing as a kid. So I liked it, even from a young age. So in order to transition my wife over, we would make spritzers. We'd take orange juice and the orange uh, sparkling water. Uh, here in Texas, we have H-E-B. That's the big supermarket down here, down south is H-E-B. So they make their own flavored sparkling water. We'd get the orange flavored sparkling water and some orange juice and mix it like half and half and it almost tasted like an orange soda and we would do the same thing with like the simply limeade um like the all the simply juices like the simply limeade the simply lemonade pardon me simply lemonade and we'd get the corresponding sparkling water and mix it half and half or you, one of my this is a pro tip out there one of my favorites is coconut sparkling water with the Simply Limeade. Or you can even get the light. If you're watching calories, you can get the light, the Simply Limeade light or something similar. Mix it with the coconut sparkling water. So good. And my wife now has no problem drinking sparkling water. She actually prefers it. Every now and then we'll grab a soda like if we're at a drive-thru. They don't offer LaCroix or Topo Chico's or anything like that at most places. So we'll get a soda maybe with something if we're getting like Schlotzky's or whatever. But now we drink almost exclusively sparkling water and it's amazing. Oh, here she comes. Oh, she had to do, she had to do a wardrobe change. <laughs> well, the ice cream place is already closed. So we're just going to PetSmart. All right. Be because the ice cream place was closed, we decided to just come to the corner store. They got ice cream. Here comes my wife. I can already see. Hey, honey. What'd you get? So, if you guys don't know, these used to be sold in the stores but they're no longer, they're called dibs. 
cannot get these at grocery stores anywhere anymore. They are exclusively sold at corner stores like gas station. Um, yeah, and we found that out through the Kardashians, right? Kim, Kim Kardashian loves these things. Okay, so I've had this chicken marinating and Frank's Red Hot for a couple of days. So, this is the spice rub that we're gonna put on here. It's got paprika, it's got cayenne pepper, it's got coconut sugar, it's got granulated salt, granulated garlic, and some kosher salt. We're gonna put it on this chicken and then we're gonna go grill it. It's going to be so good. Here's this lovely chicken. Oh, yeah. Let's go take a look. There we go. Chicken's on the grill. This may say horseradish on it, but this is Alabama white sauce. Super easy to whip up. Um, I used the last of some prepared horseradish that we have. So it's horseradish, some apple cider vinegar, mayonnaise, and garlic, salt, and pepper. That's it. And you mix it up and it makes a great dipping sauce. It's called a white barbecue sauce, an Alabama white barbecue sauce. I'll leave a link in the video that I did the recipe for this a while back, probably about a year ago, um, I did how to make this Alabama white sauce. You can also find it, Primal Gourmet. Check that guy out. He's got an amazing cookbook, mostly Whole30 and Paleo compliant meals. Um, and he has tons of recipes online on his Instagram. He even did on the uh, Whole30 official Instagram. He took over for like a week and did a whole bunch of recipes. That guy is amazing and he has a lot of really, really good recipes. Some of them are a little bit intensive and like I said earlier, he's got a Traeger grill. So a lot of his recipes he does with the Traeger grill. And if you don't have a Traeger grill like me, I have this like charbroiler Weber style grill. It's a propane grill. You can make it work. So it's going to be an amazing dinner tonight and uh alabama white sauce alabama white barbecue sauce you don't know about it i know we're in texas so please don't hate on me too much but alabama white sauce this stuff is amazing and it'll keep in the refrigerator for like three months what we have here is nothing fancy it's just brussels sprouts eboo extra virgin olive oil and some leftover green onions i had from another recipe i didn't want them to go bad so just put them in here and saute them on a high heat, it caramelizes the Brussels sprouts. It gives them a really, really, really good flavor. We like our Brussels sprouts pretty much burnt, essentially. If you don't cook your Brussels sprouts like this, if you've been steaming them or boiling them, you should try this out or in the oven. You can do them also in the oven at like 350 for like 30 minutes with a little extra virgin olive oil, some salt, some pepper maybe. They are so, so good. And a small pro tip on the Brussels sprouts, if you use, if you're doing paleo style or, or full 30 style cooking, you can put coconut oil on them. And coconut oil actually gives the Brussels sprouts this super like, like almost nutty flavor 
they're so good but you have to caramelize them you have to get them all like pretty much burnt but the coconut oil magnifique super super good finished product don't mind my my baby screaming in the background she's getting a bath but yes this is a finished product for dinner tonight it's gonna be so good clean plates in this house well guys that's all i got for today's video I got my knife and fork ready. I'm gonna go demolish some dinner. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as always. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, let's try that again.